Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I have my Ipsy and bagging for the month of April. So if you want to see the fun finds I got in my Ipsy bag this month, definitely keep on watching. For those of you who might be new here, welcome. I am a full-time working mom. I raise four young kids and I really like making videos on fashion, beauty, mommy lifestyle, in addition to my reselling experience on Poshmark. So those kind of things sound at all interesting. Definitely check out my other videos linked down below and please, please also consider Consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. So again, for today, I have just a real quick Ipsy and bagging, and I tend to do these every month just because I personally love seeing what other people get in their Ipsy bags because everyone's bag supposedly is somewhat customized for them. Um, I also just kind of like this fun beauty distraction uh, monthly as well. It's just kind of fun to try new products, kind of see what's new out there, see if anything might work for me and things I want to check out. So um, I really like these videos, and I hope that you do as well, especially in times like we're in now where we're spending more time at home. I personally am watching a lot more YouTube videos for that reason. I hope this kind of video just kind of brings a smile to your face and is something kind of interesting to do during the day. So I'm going to go ahead and just jump into this bag. So if you're not aware, really quick, um, Ipsy is a monthly subscription where you get five really fun beauty products. Usually they're sample sizes. Occasionally you will get a full size product and it's shipped just right to your door once per month. Um, I will put out there that this video is in no way, shape or form sponsored. I have been an Ipsy subscriber for years now. I personally subscribed myself. This was not sent to me um, by any means. I just kind of wanted to share with you what I got this month. So this is the bag it comes in, it's called a glam bag, and it's branded now, which is really fun. It's a really nice, fresh pop of color in your mailbox um, these days. So I'm gonna go ahead and just go ahead and open it up for you guys. So every month you also get, as you know, a beautiful cosmetic bag. Oh, this is fun. Um, and I have something else in here. So sometimes they throw the extra products in the bag itself just if they don't fit in that cosmetic bag. So this is a product which I'll go into in a minute. But here's what the cosmetic bag looks like. This is kind of different. The zipper pull has this um, kind of ring here. It says Ipsy, if you can see that there. It's kind of fun. And this bag definitely looks like spring, that's for sure. It's kind of a floral pattern. It's this kind of wipeable makeup bag type of material. And inside, as usual, just a beautiful pop of color. So this month it's kind of this yellow pop and it has the Ipsy branding in the inside there. And I'm gonna pull out the little flyer that kind of tells you what you get. It references the five products that I got in my bag. So since they revamped the service, I'd say uh, about six months or so ago, every month now you can go online and choose one product that you want in your bag. The remaining four products are really surprises. So um, I know about one product and the other ones are surprises, so I'm happy to kind of see what they picked out for me. The first product is the one that I knew about that I selected, and that was the one that was just kind of thrown outside of the bag. And this is a huge size, so I'm excited I picked this. Um, this is the Glossier Priming Moisturizing Rich. This is a lighter formula that gives a dewy, smooth skin, and it's made with various nice butters that hydrate your skin and relieve dryness and hold in moisture. And you can mix it with your foundation if you want. So this is a deluxe sample. That's definitely deluxe. Look at how large this is. So it says, um, yeah, Glossier Priming Moisturizer Rich Luxurious Face Cream. So this is a really large size. It's half an ounce, which is pretty good for moisturizer, especially just a sample like this. So it is sealed, but I will try it out for you. So let me just, un let me just uncap it here. And there's a slight scent to it. It smells kind of like moisturizers do, a little bit of kind of a fresh, a little bit of a herbal um, scent as well. And the texture, so it just looks like this. And the texture, although they call it light, it's not too, too light. There definitely is this density to it. It's definitely not the lightest moisturizer I've tried, I'll say that. So. It is somewhat, I'd say a medium texture. I wouldn't necessarily call it light. It definitely kind of gets paved onto your skin here. You can definitely tell it's hydrating and moisturizing. There's a little bit of a thickness to it too, which is nice. You feel like it really does coat your skin well. So I haven't actually tried Glossier products prior to this, to be quite honest. So I wanted to give this line a try. So when I saw this pop up as an option, I definitely had to check it out. 
Um, and so far, I'm impressed. I think it feels like a really nice moisturizer. I do love the packaging too, especially for just for a sample. I mean, it's really pretty. I love this little rose top there and this glass container. Seems like it's gonna be good quality. So I'm definitely looking forward to trying this. As you probably heard in other videos, I'm really trying to try different moisturizers, especially because my skin is getting drier these days. I really wanna find a nice moisturizer. So I'm happy and excited to try this one. Okay, so now I'm just gonna dive into the bag here and pull out the first thing I see. So this is, looks like a powder. So this is the YC Collection Loose Setting Powder in number 215. And it's basically a setting powder to mattify your skin up to 12 hours. And yeah, it's a deluxe sample. So I'll go ahead and open this up and give it a try. I'm gonna show you how it looks. So I always set my makeup, I kind of have to because I need my makeup to be very long wearing during the day. So I love setting with a nice powder like this. I haven't tried anything from the YC collection, so I'm excited to see what this brand is all about. Let me know if you know this brand, I just haven't heard about it. And I just put a little bit on my hand here, just to kind of feel the texture. I think it's going to match my skin well, there's a little bit of a color as you can see there. It does seem to mattify things well. Just put it on right there. So of course it's gonna blend in, so you probably wouldn't be able to see that, but it does apply pretty nicely. It blends in well, I can say. And I think it matches my skin tone pretty well. And again, this is a pretty decent size for a setting powder. So I'm happy about that one. The next thing is this, and it's the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. This is hopeful to prevent dark circles from happening. It's lightweight eye cream. Packed with a lot of moisturizing properties. You're supposed to apply a little under your eye and smooth with your ring finger. So this is another deluxe sample. I, again, haven't heard about this brand, so it's nice to try out all these new things. I don't use an eye cream, uh, to be honest. I use Unfortunately, I squeezed a bunch in the cap here, but I do use moisturizers at night, and that's basically it. I put the moisturizer under my eye. I like to try to minimize my skincare and makeup routine just for the sake of uh, preserving whatever free time I have. So I don't use an eye cream, but since I got this, I will try it out. Let's see if it makes a difference. I know a lot of people swear by eye creams are probably cringing by the fact that I don't use an eye cream. So I will try this out. Here it is. I think a lot of eye creams tend to be lighter in texture just because of a very del delicate skin under the eye. And this seems very light in texture. And it just smooths in really nicely as well. It feels a little bit oily in the texture. So I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but it definitely has a little bit of a more oily feel compared to other moisturizers and creams I'm used to. But it does blend in really nicely as you can see there. Um, so I'll give it a try. Um, there also is this kind of fresh herbal scent to this as well, like a lot of skincare product does. It's kind of that classic skincare scent, I'll say, these products have. So, yeah, I'll try that one out. It's from, again, Balance Me is the company. So that's good, too. I always love getting skincare, that's for sure. So because skincare is so pricey, it's always hard for me to go ahead and splurge for a full size of something when I'm not really sure I'm going to like it. So to be honest, Ipsy and things like this are really perfect for skincare because you're able to try out these pretty decent sizes and kind of figure out what works for you and what doesn't before you go and splurge for that huge thing. I mean, I just cannot get over how expensive skincare is. I know it's important, but that's partially why I shy away from a lot of this just because it's so expensive. So if I can try out something and know what works for me, I definitely feel a lot more comfortable kind of taking that splurge. So um, it's really fun to get skincare in Ipsy. I think I tend to gravitate towards skincare if I'm picking something out in a bag month to month. Uh, and then the next product looks like an eyeliner. It's from Sugar Cosmetics. It's called the Wingman Waterproof Eyeliner in Albi Black. And it looks like it is a pen. I'm supposed to shake it. A pen eyeliner. That's basically it. Not much to say about that. This is full size though, which is nice. And it retails for $12, it says. It's called a Sugar Black Eyeliner. So that's nice. So again, sometimes you get some full-size products, which is pretty cool. I'm just gonna open this up here. I like how everything seems really nicely wrapped and packaged. Um, sometimes some months you get things that aren't really wrapped so well, but this month seems to be pretty good. 
So here's what the tip looks like. It's a really fine pen tip as you'd expect from an eyeliner and it's waterproof which is awesome. I need waterproof if I'm going to use an eyeliner like this and there's the branding there. Let me just show this to you on my hand and so you can kind of check it out. So I just do a fine line here. Seems like you have pretty good control. I can make a pretty fine line as you can see there. So when I do eyeliner, I like to make a pretty fine line. I get a little nervous about these pen eyeliners that they're gonna just put on too much at one time, but I was able to have pretty good control using this pen. So that's a really good payout. Uh, and it doesn't seem too, too black. Sometimes pen eyeliners get really, really black, so it's hard to use. But this one, I had to do two swipes, and as you can see, it's not too pigmented. So I think this may work. Um, I'll try this out. In general, I like to use gel pencil eyeliners on my eyes, so I have to get used to using these pens, but I'm going to try it, especially if it's waterproof. I think that would be a good thing for me, like I said, so um, I'll let you know what I think. At some point, I may do a little review of these eyeliners, because I get a fair amount of them in my bags and purchase them as well, so I can kind of review some of my top eyeliners, because I love eyeliner. I need eyeliner to accentuate the shape of my eyes for sure. It's one of my most favorite makeup products, so I kind of like trying different ones out here and again. All right, so I have one final product in the bag, and then it's empty. So the final product is another nail polish. I get a ton of nail polishes, and I said before, I actually really like nail polishes because I do my own nails, not just because we're sheltering at home now, but I usually always only do my own nails because it's so hard for me to get out of the house to get a manicure. Although I love manicures, it's just hard to get out there. So I like to do my own nails. And most of my nail polishes now are from Ipsy. So this is from a brand called Helios, and I don't think I've tried this brand before. It's called Helios Live-In Lovely Nail Polish. And the shade is Live-In Lovely, actually, is what the shade is called. And it's a little bit of a lighter color palette, it says. This is a warm-toned orchid shade and it cures in natural lights, dries to a smooth gel-like finish. That's really nice. If you can get a really nice gel-like finish, that's really cool. They said it's a long-wearing formula, lasts up to 10 days, so not sure if I buy that, but I am excited to try it. Any long-wearing product um, is definitely something that I'd be into. So I'm excited to try this. There's a little tip here, which is cool. It says you can dip your polished nails into ice water for 10 seconds to speed up drying time. I'd also be a little nervous about that to dip uh, nail polish and nails that were recently polished into ice water um, to dry it faster. I'm not sure about that. Have you guys heard about that tip? I don't know, that's something new to me. It makes me a little nervous to put your nails in ice water, but that's what the tip says here. It also says this is full size, which is another cool thing. It's a full size nail polish. So here's what the box looks like. And then this color looks like it's gonna be really pretty. So I love it for spring and summer. I think this would be a really nice color. But let's see what it looks like. Oh, this is huge. You can tell it's pretty good quality. It's very weighty. I really like this color. I've had similar ones from Ipsy before, but nothing quite this exact shade. So I think that's gonna be really pretty. So I'm gonna wear this in one of my future videos and I'll point it out to you when I'm wearing it. Um, but I really like these nail polishes. And this one is a really, really pretty color. Okay. So um, that is it. Those are my five products for this month. My bag is empty. I have this really nice pop of color in there. Um, this is a really fun bag, you can tell. Um, really getting me excited for the spring months just with the color palette of the nail polish. And I love skincare, like I said, and I got a lot of skincare this time um, in this bag, which is really fun to try out. So I hope you liked your Ipsy bag this month as well. I think this is one of my more favorite bags. Um, definitely better than I think I got last month if I remember, so I'm excited about this. Uh, most of these products I am definitely gonna use, and I had two full-size products, which is pretty cool as well. So let me know if you had any great finds in your bags, things I need to check out as well, and if you have any opinions on these brands or products that I got in this bag, definitely be interested in hearing from you. Leave any comments down below if you have any questions about my experience with Ipsy or any of these products. And please don't forget to hit the like button if you like these kind of beauty videos, and also hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss future content like this. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching. Please stay safe and healthy, and I will plan to see you in my next video. Bye.